Hey everybody, um, got another one for you tonight, and uh, basically I'm going to get right into this, because um, there's an extra step at the end, the buckle goes on at the very end on this one, so what I've already done, I've got six feet of uh, Kelly Green, I've already done the uh, cow's hitch at the center point of that green piece, and then I also have six feet of the silver gray. So what I want to do is on this cow's hitch, I want to put put this through and I want to find the center point so I'm going to grab both ends here hold the ends and then that will bring me to my center point alright now I can tighten this on up and this gives me four open ends to work with so I have the two top pieces which I can get out of the way right now like that. Alright, so this one's called the Coyote Trail and um, the version that I saw online, it's, it's kind of difficult to follow. I was able to do it with a few, with a few, uh, you know, backing it up, look at it and do it again, but the way that this version that I've got I think is going to be a lot easier. So what you do is you get these two top pieces out of the way, grab your left cord, create a loop, now grab your right cord and go through that loop. So basically all you're doing really is tying a knot like so. Alright, now take this left cord, this gray one, go around the back and through this loop here. Alright, so you should have something that looks like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is take both of the gray cords in your hand like this, run them through your fingers to get to the ends. It doesn't matter if they're twisted or anything. And open this, open this loop up right here. So it's going to be on the bottom. Okay, pass both gray cords through that loop. Oops, I got that. So now you'll have something that looks like this. You're going to have one gray cord going over this green. Let me zoom in a little bit. you have one, one of your gray cords going over top of the center green and through that loop. One of the gray cords going under the center and then through that same loop. So once this gray one goes through and you have them together, they go through the same loop. And then we're just going to tighten this up. <clears throat> okay, just get that nice and snug. It doesn't have to be super tight and it actually looks a little better when it's not pulled ex extremely tight. That should be good. Now you're just going to repeat that same process. So create a loop. Okay, now you want to make sure that this, this loop, the one on the left, is looped over the right like that and then just basically go down through the bottom or go down through the top of that and that'll create a knot. You're really just creating this this tie right here. So you, any way you want to do it, as long as you get this result you're good. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bring this green one through the middle, bringing these together, open up this loop and pass it down through there. just like that. And then you can see again we got the right side over top and the left cord underneath. Just keep cinching these together. And get it pulled up nice and snug. Now this bracelet is going to want to try and twist on you as you're going, but if you can kind of fight against it, it'll be alright when you get going. Now I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm going to finish up the bracelet. And I read somewhere that if, if you come up with a different way to tie something, 
that it constitutes a new name for the design. But I'm not going to do that. This one's already got a name, so it's just going to stay the Coyote Trail. Alright, bring the left side through the middle. Combine it with the other cord, so just put them both together. Open this loop up. Pass it down through that loop. Alright, and then we can pull this tight. And this way I found is a lot easier than than the other uh, the other way. I'm going to I'm going to get going on this. So basically I'll talk more about the length when I come back. Pretty much down to the bottom, right to where I want to finish this. Um, basically I need to get this buckle on here, but first what I want to do is at this point, I'm going to get a piece of paper under there. I want to cut the top piece, the one that I just tied, I want to cut this and then singe the ends. So we'll do this real quick. Alright, there's that one. That looks good. I forgot to wish you guys a new, uh, or a, ha a happy, uh, happy new year. Today's, uh, New Year's Eve. Got about three hours left until the big ball drops. Or in my case, um, I live in Atlanta. We have a big peach that drops downtown. Um, it's too crazy down there, though. There's, <laughs> I just saw on the news, there's a ton of people down there. Okay, so now that we have these two, what I need to do is unsnap my buckle. And I want to run. Here, I guess this piece of paper out of here now. I want to run my buckle through my two ends. Just like this. Get that twist out of there. Alright. And... Let's see if I got that right. Nope, I gotta rotate this around 180 degrees. So you wanna make sure that you get your buckles lined up correct before you go and tie everything together. Which, if I do this right, there we go. Alright, now, this is kind of the tricky part. You wanna get this buckle on here just as if you're doing a Salomon, okay? So you want to leave enough on here to do two Solomon uh, knots. So we'll just do one real quick. So I went left over the center, right over the left, behind the back, and through. Okay, and then we pull this tight. And you should still have just enough room to do one more which we do, so that's good. And now I'm going to do the right over center, the left over the right, and behind the back, and through that hole. And what this does for me, it attaches the buckle, but it also gives me a nice tight knot to, so that I can snip the ends here. Now it doesn't do a whole lot for the, the look of the bracelet, but to connect the buckle to this bracelet, that's really the only way that you can do it with a buckle. Snip the ends here. Actually, I'm going to light this one first. So I'm still pretty excited. Yesterday I hit a thousand subscribers. I never even thought I'd come close to a thousand subscribers, so that was pretty cool. Um, I just happened to log in just as uh, exactly 1,000 subscribers were there. I'm going to have to figure something out for you guys. For you guys that like my videos and keep subscribing. Um, maybe I'll do some kind of giveaway.
All right, and that's the last step right there. We now have a completed bracelet, which is called the uh, Coyote Trail. And there it is. Not too bad. This one does take a little bit of time. Hope you like it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll have, have a new one tomorrow for you. Thanks again.